It's actually looking at all these earthworks right underneath the tree, and I'm just wondering if there's like dead bodies, dead Indian bodies there, and then they put the trees there to, I guess, hold the soil or something. It's uh, situated on a wooded bluff above the Little Miami River. Fort Ains, it's a man made earthen structure built by the Hope well culture 2,000 years ago. The site featured three and a half miles of hiking trails and a paved drive that provides easy access to 100 acres encompassed by the earthworks. So they are earthworks here. Fort Ancient. Museum admission is $6 adults, $5 seniors, $4 students. Um, outdoor, outdoor admission, no museum access, $8 a carload. So Fort Ancient. Coming up here on the right is Richwood, and uh, when you get off, it's on Richwood Road, and which Richwood Road is where my uncle, 18-year-old uncle, died on Richwood Road in 1973. William Rich was riding with him. I think he was driving, probably drunk. It's exit 175 on Interstate 71. So Richwood Road, uh, 40 years ago on Thanksgiving Day, he got into a car wreck and supposedly there was alcohol on the scene, um, but nobody knows anything about that. There's also Big Bone State, uh, Big Bone Lick State Park, which is where a bunch of mastodon bones were found. Mastodon and mammoth and I think, I don't know, I know mastodon and mammoth bones were found there, so gives an idea of what was here before the European invasion. So I'm uh, cruising down Algonquin. Uh, this is uh, back in Louisville. Algonquin is a language of the Native Americans. And uh, right, on the interstate here, and this is, uh, I think this is the Gloria Powers part of the interstate, but on uh, I-64, you have, or on 264, you got a section of, uh, it's, it's the Waterson Expressway for the most part. That's what it says when you come down 71, over 50% of the exit is Waterson Expressway. But the other part is Shawnee Expressway, and then the Shawnee Expressway turns into the Gloria Powers Expressway. And Gloria Powers was uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s mistress. So you have Martin Luther King Jr.'s mistress, uh, you know, that's on this highway, but also the Shawnee, which was the important thing about the Native Americans. So you get off Algonquin, and you get up on Shawnee Expressway. There's Shawnee School, there's Iroquois School, there's uh, DeSalle, DeSoto, LaSalleville, like there's some apartment complex named after the first white explorers here in, uh, in Kentucky, and... Uh, so there's a, actually a rich, thick heritage of Native American culture here in there's Chickasaw Park, Shawnee Park. I mean, there's lots of stuff that's named after Native Americans here. So, so yeah, that's pretty cool.